The worst part is, that's not even half of it. The majority of the stuff in this unboxing actually came from StockX. As you guys know, I do resell Supreme, so I buy a lot of Supreme online. However, I don't always take a W, so when I take an L, I need to hit up StockX. StockX is an awesome sponsor of this channel, so they actually blessed me, and this is probably one of the biggest blessings any human being could receive if you are into streetwear or Supreme specifically. Even if you're not into Supreme, I think you will like these pieces. I don't know how much all this stuff is worth, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have a counter, so every time I talk about an item, I will put up the StockX screenshot of that item and what is currently going for or the average sale price then we can total how much this unboxing is worth I can't really title it like I spent this much money on Supreme because I didn't really spend a whole lot of money to be honest obviously I got plugged by StockX and the rest of the stuff although it seems like a lot of packages there's like one or two items per package for those of you guys that do not know what StockX is StockX is an online reselling platform that you can use to resell brand new Supreme goods you can also sell new palace new FTP new kith a ton of other brands as well they're constantly updating the site and adding new brands that you can sell on StockX. Obviously, if you guys have heard the name StockX before, you guys know StockX started off with sneakers. So it's also a great place to go to buy legit sneakers. You can make sure that the stuff you are buying is legit and not fake. You can have a little bit more security when you buy your goods from StockX. So as a buyer, I love putting on for StockX as a platform. That being said, the top link in the description will be a link to StockX, so make sure you go check that out. And then the link right below that will actually be a link to my Instagram. I will be taking a ton of pictures with these items and posting them to my Instagram, so make sure if you wanna see some really sick content and some unique pictorials with these pieces, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I do a ton of sick pictures like this one, and this one, and this one, and you already know. Well, I, I'll show you guys the next one when I talk about some of these North Face Supreme pieces. If you guys like videos such as this, of course, smash that like button, and I don't know if you guys know what this t-shirt is. This is the Supreme Gons tee. It's a super sick tee. I shouldn't even be wearing this because actually the video of me unboxing this is actually coming up. So if you guys would like to see that video, of course, smash that like button down below and I'll post it like tomorrow or the next day. If this video does well enough, then I'll post it really, really soon, I promise. So smash that like button. While you're down there, of course, subscribe, comment. Make sure that when you subscribe, you turn on notifications, join that notification. Game, game. And bam, let's get into it. Okay, so should we go over the stock X items first or the stuff that I bought in store? Let's go over the stock X items. The first piece is actually unboxed. It is this North Face right here. This is the Supreme North Face Gore-Tex collaboration that they recently dropped. This was the most recent North Face collaboration with Supreme. And by far, this is one of my favorite collaborations. Now, this I actually did have to buy from Ari so I could get it early and get some content in this piece. And it has gone up in value since I've purchased it. I'm not quite sure what it is at right now, but of course I will have the stock X little screenshot showing you guys what it's currently going for. Definitely a great piece. I love these colors. I love this white because it's more of like a vintage white as opposed to a solid white. I will say I don't really care for this black strip, but I guess it kind of goes since you also have these black cuffs as well. By the way, here's also the picture that I took in that piece like the day after it came out. Like I said, go follow me on Instagram. But anyways, when the North Face drop happened, I was just landing in Utah for a layover before I caught my next flight to Houston. I did cop some goods on the actual tarmat, like literally I had to use my hotspot with my laptop and cop some goods, but I couldn't get everything, so of course I had to hit StockX and they blessed me with a lot of the pieces that I took L's on. So first up, we got this fleece right here. This is in the sulfur colorway. I love these fleeces. I've been saying this, I think this collaboration is by far probably the best collaboration since the Denali jackets they did in 2008, and that's a long time. There are a couple other jackets that I forgot, like the checkered North Face Supreme pieces. Those are super sick. There's a couple North Face Supreme pieces that I like that compare, but for me personally, I love the color blocking on these pieces, and I just think this was a solid, timeless collab, one that will definitely hold its value. Now, the sulfur pieces are definitely the more affordable. They do not hold their value like the black or the red and the white. However, honestly, I actually think these pieces are better than the black one. Probably not better than the red and white one, that's crazy. But you already know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, this is what I was saying, man. I'm gonna try not to put on for my Instagram too much more, but like, I love hiking in North Face Supreme gear. I just feel like a lot of the colors they choose pop with these nice, beautiful outdoor backgrounds. I think the pictures turn out really sick. I'm probably popping some on the screen right now so you can kind of get an idea. So of course, I needed the full suit. Originally, I wasn't really for it, but honestly, these pants are gonna do a really good job of keeping me dry for winter hikes when I'm hiking up snowy mountains. So I definitely had to get the pants to match the fleece. Now, that being said, of course, I may have the fleece, but I also needed the jacket. You already know I needed the full 
sulfur suit. I'm telling you, man, this collaboration is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors they chose on all the pieces. Honestly, I wish they would have done a couple more colorways, but beggars can't be choosers because I have been begging Supreme to drop a good North Face collaboration, especially since it seems like the last three collaborations have been shit, especially that snakeskin and reflective bullshit. Now, as you guys see, I got the red and the white jacket, so you know your boy needs the red and the white pants to go with it. You know I needed the full suit. Hey, we got some StockX stickers. Thank you, StockX, I appreciate it. And if I'm gonna have the jacket and the pants, I might as well have the fleece as well, of course. Bam, look at that thing. That thing is looking oh so luscious. Then, you know your boy also needs the beautiful black jacket as well. This is just the clean piece that I needed in the collection, of course. I think of the three colors, this is my least favorite just because it's all black, it's simple, it's nothing crazy special. Really, the only difference is that the quality of the jacket is really nice and then it has a supreme patch right there, but this is nothing crazy compared to those two. Personally, if I'm being honest, I'd rather have the all black Steep Tech. Speaking of the Steep Tech, we also got the North Face Supreme Steep Tech in the olive and red colorway. I needed this piece. Maybe I'll get the black one soon. I don't know. Please, StockX, bless you, boy. But yeah, this piece right here, I love the Steep Tech series. Such a good North Face collaboration. The Steep Techs are actually made for skiers and like really avid mountaineers. So these things are meant to be durable. They often use different materials that are a lot more durable than your standard North Faces. They're just meant to withstand a lot more like harsh conditions. So definitely sick to find finally have the olive and red one as well. You guys already know if you follow me on Instagram, I do have the blue and yellow. And hopefully I'll get the black one soon. Speaking of other North Face collaborations, since I'm showing off some of the newer fleeces, I might as well show off the Antarctic Expedition fleece. I did not get any of these fleeces. I did get the full Antarctic Expedition, like, uh... Why can't I think right now? Like Gore-Tex suit. But I did not get any of the fleeces, so of course your boy had to get the olive fleece. You got the American flag right there, the American flag right there, the Antarctic Expedition right there. This patch was actually used in an old vintage North Face, I think back in the 90s. And then of course the North Face and Supreme patch right there. This whole collaboration was based off of these older jackets in the 90s. I believe the parkas they dropped were actually the exact same parkas they dropped, or at least the exact same style of jacket that they dropped for the Antarctic Expedition. I do not remember the exact year, of that expedition off the top of my head, I apologize. Anyways, I do have one other gift from StockX, but it doesn't really go in this unboxing, so if you guys would like to see that, of course, smash that like button, and maybe I'll give you guys a, a sneak preview on Instagram soon. Oh wait, I forgot, there is a couple other things from StockX. First of all, we have the balaclava little thing right here to match the North Face. Of course, you know your boy needed the full suit. I'm gonna be up in the mountains looking like a supreme freaking billboard. This thing right here is super nice to have in the mountains. I will say for me personally, sometimes the balaclavas, uh, when you're breathing, since I wear glasses because I'm blind as fuck, my breath will like fog up my glasses, but whatever. Anyways, as you guys know, this was box logo season, so your boy had to pick up this mustard box logo from StockX. Thank you, StockX. This thing is so freaking beautiful. I think this is the most slept on color. I actually really wanted this color. This is the color I went for. I think it really pops, especially in the natural green like environment here in Washington. I took some pictures in this piece as well, and honestly, it just looks so good with that green pine background and this beautiful mustard colorway. And you guys know me. I don't normally get super gassed on box logos, but I just think this is a piece that will age very well. It'll look super sick in the future and no matter what it'll always have that vintage vibe primarily because of this color. I have so much heat on that couch right now. It's freaking insane. I don't even know what the total is. I'm sure I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen, but oh my god. The crazy thing is is we haven't even got to the online orders yet. Now I did get these two jackets from my brothers over at Prime Cop. I have shouted them out before on Instagram. Huge shout out to them. They did bless me with these jackets. I got this patchwork jacket. I don't remember why I couldn't get this online. I think I woke up late this week. I'm like, nine, yeah, that is definitely what it is because I'll show you the next jacket that I want and I also did not get. But this jacket is super sick. Definitely something a little bit different, but I'm excited to try to pull this off and just style it. I, I want to start styling like other Supreme pieces that aren't always worn or hyped or whatever. That being said, I think this piece actually does go for above retail. So this is one of the pieces that do have resale value regardless. At least I'm pretty sure, but of course the screenshot of StockX will tell you guys whether it does or does not. Now this is another jacket that I actually quite love and I did get this in the burgundy colorway. I, this right here is in the cool blue color and it looks absolutely gorgeous. You see that little Supreme branding right there on the left chesticle. I love these jackets. This style of jacket looks like some kind of old mechanic jacket and I honestly think that there is no comparison. I think these jackets deserve a lot more hype. I think they're super nice. They're really well made and just overall 
they're just, oh man, these things look so clean. Also, random little fact, the way they did the neck, it like covers your entire neck. So it has a little bit of hickey hider action for the OG subs, you know what that is. Don't let those succubuses try to mark you up. Make sure you have some pieces that will hide the hickeys from those ladies. Now it's time to get to these online orders. We have quite a few goods to discuss. I don't know what all has been shipped. Now obviously any stickers that we get, we will go over at the end. So, uh, oh my God. Socks. You guys might be wondering, Jacob, why'd you buy socks? I was unaware of the fact that you can put in a fake credit card to basically like save your stuff to Supreme and I was really freaking out because a lot of autofill was being reported as being blocked by Pookie, which is like their anti-bot service or their anti-bot detection software or whatever on Supreme. That's basically why sometimes when people use autofill, they'll get reported as being like a bot. By the way, random little fact, I think it's really cool that Supreme references New York so much. If you guys are uncultured swine like myself, you guys may not know this, but Pookie is actually a reference to a crackhead in New Jack City. Hey Pookie, you clean yourself up, man. Maybe I I'm pretty sure that's their reference. It's a pretty notable movie. It's a really like a famous quote from Notorious B.I.G. is uh, I don't remember it like word for word, but it's something along the lines of it's kind of like the crack did to Pookie in New Jack, except when I cross over, ain't no coming back. Something like that. You see, it's kind of like the crack did to Pookie. The new jack, except when I cross over, it ain't no coming back. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a couple little words in there, but you get the gist. New Jack City is a really popular old school gangster movie. I would recommend that you watch it if you are of the legal age to watch that movie. I think it's rated R. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, so I bought those just trying to get my information in during the North Face week. That way I could have my address and all that saved to the Supreme site. You know, there's that little like checkbox. This is like save for future orders or whatever. Anyways, next up we have, I feel like this is another small shitty order. What is this? Oh no, this actually isn't that bad of an order. Although I will say these tees did not do that well in StockX. I'm kind of curious to see how well they have done since the release. Also, I'm thinking about making a video kind of like what my friend Boone does where it's like, which pieces are bricks and grails and which pieces like resell for money and which pieces I expected to resell. I'm just kind of react to some of the resale pieces. Like, I'm pretty sure this goes for right around retail. Honestly, I'm surprised. I think this piece is actually really sick. And in my opinion, it's one of the doper Supreme tees to drop in quite some time. That being said, it's not the best of the season. We will show you some better tees momentarily. So next up we have, I think another t-shirt. Wait, maybe not. What is this? Oh, okay, so this is to go with the black North Face suit. As you can see, once again, we have the black balaclava right here. I'm kind of curious where my Supreme North Face stuff is that I actually got online. Oh yeah, baby. This is, wait, oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I thought this was the parka. I was gonna be so sad if I did not have the pants, if they sent me the parka instead of the pants, but we have the all black North Face Supreme Expedition Pantalones. Yes, as you can see, we have all three suits, ladies and gentlemen. We got them. Bam, this thing is sexy. Okay, throw that on the couch, which tells me this is probably either, mm. Well, one of these has to be the last black North Face Supreme piece. Any, mini, mighty, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. My mom said to pick the very best one and you are the Supreme North Face. Okay, this has got to be it. Wait, actually, I think it's this one. <laughs> Damn it, was I wrong? See, this is why you never, ever question the universe. It was actually right. I was wrong. I doubted it. I'm sorry for doubting the universe. I apologize, but here we go. The original guess was correct. We have the all-black Supreme North Face Fleece. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is sexy. I cannot wait to use this for content and get some really like decent hiking content out of this piece. Like, I'm serious. All of those pieces are so sick. So as you can see, I have all three fleeces, all three jackets, and all three pants. Having that stuff to create content would not be possible without StockX. Like I said earlier, please make sure you go check out StockX in the description down below. This next piece, I'm actually really curious. I have no idea. I have not double checked to see how this is doing on the market. I'm hoping it's doing somewhat well because I did not plan on keeping this. I plan on reselling it. But it is 
the camo reflective. I don't even really want to take this out all the way. I mean, you guys can see tons of pictures of it. One thing I think is super sick is this right here, the back of the neck. Look at that. You can take the hood out and like the zipper says Supreme. Oh, that is fire. The zipper is actually quite nice. But as you can see, it is the all 3M camo puffer coat. I really would have rather had the other two colors, um, but it is what it is. I still think this piece is sick. It's just not one that I plan on keeping because I have so many puffer coats. Okay, what is in here? Oh, sick! The Bless DVD. You already know your boy needed this. I got a little sticker pack, so thank you for that. I needed the Bless DVD. This is definitely a Mando piece. I will have this just playing in my apartment 24-7 all day, every day. Still have a couple packages and a box. More stickers. Oh, wow, this is old. This is because uh, these were sent to my mom's house. These are the Chris Cunningham tees. I think I already unboxed these in a previous video, so there's no point in reopening those, but yeah. Chris Cunningham tees. That collaboration could have been so much better just based off of Chris Cunningham's work, but I just feel like they chose shitty pieces of, I don't know. I just feel like they could have done such a better job with that collaboration. I was really excited for that one. Next up, we got more tees. Uh, looks like we got one sticker. Are you serious? Wow, you're serious. Okay. All right, anyways, we have the Bombay tee. Once again, I think this tee is sick. I think it's slept on. And then we have my favorite tee, which is the Sanchito tee. You guys might be asking, Jacob, why aren't you opening those packages? Well, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a Sanchito tea in a second, so there's no point in opening that. I'm trying to burn through this as quickly as possible because, wait, what are, what the fuck? What? When, when did I order white teas? Why? Okay. Trash. More stickers. Now, before I show you guys my favorite tea, we are going to have... Fuck, oh, dude, I don't have my knife on me. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> Never mind. This is the plus side of always having so many knives in the house is there's always a knife within arm's reach. Anyways, uh, this is the last package. However, I did go to LA and I bought quite a few Supreme pieces while I was in LA as well. Most of that is to resell, which is good because honestly, a lot of the stuff is for my personal collection. Although if you think about it, the majority of the stuff that I showed off today, I did not purchase. And the last piece of course is the beautiful Supreme Bear. As you can see, I already got one. I got one in store and I got this one. So I got two of them. The picture I took with this the day that the drop happened was so sick. For those of you guys that do not follow me on Instagram, like I said, this is your last chance. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm telling you, if you don't, you will regret it because you will be missing out on some fire ass content. But as you can see, he's got a little box logo right there. He also has like a little tag inside. It's a little Supreme tag and that tag does say size large. I think this is one of the sicker pieces and I'm glad to actually have two of these. The thing about those bears, is they're gonna go up in value. So one I'm gonna keep as a novelty item. As you guys can see, I have a ton of bears if you guys look around. And the other one I will keep and then eventually I will sell it once it goes up in value. I think that piece will go up in the future so I think if you do have one it's a good piece to hold near your heart anyways in store I bought two other Bombay tees so you can add that to the value and then I went in and I got like wait slate white black six Sanchito tees this is by far one of my favorite pieces of the season this is a Sanchito tee Sanchito is a graffiti artist based out of Seattle really talented dude really sick and it's cool to see someone that is somewhat local collaborating with Supreme this is by far my favorite piece that they did I felt like some of the other pieces didn't really go with the stuff they were like like for example the tape seam jacket that's the best example because I feel like his style of art does not really fit with the tape seam jacket that being said I think this is super dope. I got this in a white and black for myself. All the other colors I will be selling, of course. Add that to the total. I do not know what the total is, but I'm sure it is way too much. Skirt! Real quick, guys, I'm editing the video, and I actually forgot to show off one of the pieces. And this is a piece I am kind of curious how the market is doing. And it's this piece right here. This was one of the half zips that they dropped. I also caught this from Prem Cop. Huge shout out to my homies over there. But anyways, as you can see, you have the Supreme Tackle Twill sewn in right here on the front. And you have all these little stars, Starlight Baby. And it's actually a part of the fabric. So it's a little jacquard half zip. This is like a lighter weight, kind of like a long sleeve as opposed to their normal fleece half zips. And because my dumbass forgot to show off the stickers, we got one, two, three, four, 15 box logos. We got the Bombay stickers. Chris Cunningham stickers, Rubber John, Rubber Johnny? Is that just like that collection? I don't know. And then we have a couple sticker packs where we have the Marvin Gaye sticker and the Dr. Seuss sticker. We actually have two of these as well. Did they drop a smile sticker or the sticker for the smile tee from Sanchito? I have no idea. Anyways, back to your regular scheduled programming. Thankfully, I can't say that I spent that much, but you guys already know 
hopefully by next season I will be ready to be dropping bands on Supreme. And if not, hopefully StockX will still love me so I can still do these huge crazy unboxings that you guys seem to love. If you guys do like these unboxings and you want to see more of these crazy unboxings in the future, of course, smash that like button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. You guys might think I'm going to say goodbye, but I'm not. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you check out StockX down in the link below. Of course, while you are down there checking out all those links and clicking that StockX link, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, join the notification and then let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these pieces and this season. Like I said, maybe I will do a like bricks and resale or like basically what items are worth from the previous season and just discuss what I originally thought and discuss the pieces that I'm not surprised to see going for a lot or the pieces that I am surprised to see going for a lot. But let me know if you guys would like to see that down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep moving this all piece the fuck out. Okay, I know that was a really, really fast outro. I'm surprised I could even spit that quickly. However, my battery is about to die. So yeah, peace.